cake of cakes. Sorry for the harsh lighting again. I love when I sit on my bed, the lights directly on my face and make the shadow. But I'm going to get this video up for you guys a little late, but it's still, still going to be Tuesday. Um, I was just going to insert some photos that I took over this Saturday from when I went to the Fall Book Festival uh, at our public library, and then we also went to a Christmas Market Expo. I did not film anything or really take any pictures of the Christmas Market Expo because it was the first time I've ever been, and it was kind of chaotic because they had stuff like upstairs, downstairs. They had like a silent auction that we won one little thing at, but there is like one photo that we did, the photo shoot thingy that they were doing with the Grinch and Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. I did the one with Grinch, so I'll insert that at the end, but I'm just going to show mainly what I got at the book sale and a couple things that I bought at the expo. So, the thumbnail of this video you will see that I finished my three book series that I needed. So, um, one of the public libraries that was near my old job had these two for free on a table. So, this is the Jane and Enovich, I don't know how you say her last name, or Jan Janet Enovich, but um, it's the Wicked series, and there's only three in the series, so there was Wicked Appetite, and Wicked Business, and I just finished Wicked Business, I had like 39 pages left to do, and then I was needing to order the last book of it, but when we went to the library book sale, there it was, and it was the last table that we didn't look at because it was also where like the line was at to check out. And I was like, I still need to check just in case, like, if I missed anything. And sure enough, it was right there on top. And I squealed in front of, like, three older women trying to, like, grab it. So I had it. Because it's literally the last one I needed for my series to finish it. So I need to start that one. It's about the, like, seven deadly sins and this, like, cupcake baker lady that lives in Salem. And, like, there's two different guys. They're cousins, but they're, like, completely different looking people and they're both after the same thing and like she has like a gift and all that like I'm not trying to spoil too much but like that is the premise of all the books so I'm excited to get to the last book of the series then the next book uh, I got was the Bersinger that is the Aragon series this is I think the second or third book but my boyfriend told me that if you ever find these at those those library book sales or free books or whatever to try to get them so we can do our series of them. Um, this is a new book to me. It is a, it's about, it's a mystery series, but it's about herbalism. And this is actually the second book of the series, and it's called Witch's Bane. The first one's called Time of Death, which is T-H-Y-M-E. And so I was showing my mom, and my, my parents are the ones that went me saw in the photos you'll see. But, um... She was saying that it would be something cool to read, even if, if it's not the first book, but that maybe they're all separate books because they're all separate mysteries pertaining to certain herbs, so we'll see. It's a, it was just, it caught my eye. I normally don't gravitate to yellow because my favorite color is not yellow, but, like, I saw that it was called Witch's Bane, and it caught my eye, so. And then I have three more books. So the next one is A Leap Year 366 of Great Stories from History. And right now I'm on a history kick of all, like, the British royalty, but, like, the 29th of March, birth of a man who had inherited the presidency. Uh, 30th of March, the United States buys land seven times the size of Great Britain. So they're, like, these little, little facts that were every day of the year, including leap year. So I'm excited to get into that one. And my grandmother's going to read it, too. This one is, like velvety cover like I think it's a brand new series I'm not entirely sure but I liked the cover and I liked how it felt in my hand it's called the mask of shadows and it looks like that so I didn't even look into what it was about or anything like that I just liked the cover and said I'll try it and it was the first of the series so and then the last one I got was for myself because y'all know if you've been watching me that I'm trying to get back into my like journey with God so I got this it's old, but I liked it because it has pictures for every single page. And it's just 100 Bible stories. It just looks like that. And then, like I said, every every page is got a picture. So, like Genesis or Creation, Adam and Eve. And it seemed really old, so I didn't even look at the date on this one. The oldest book we found 
I think it was 1905. I don't remember. This was made in 1950 in St. Louis, Missouri. But um, I think it was like 1905 was the oldest book my mom found, but I don't even remember what it was about. So that is all the books for the book sale. It was quite a bit. Not the, like, I mean, my mom, we got, actually, there's a book missing. I think I gave it to my mom, though. There was another book that we got was about, like, in the South, kind of Christmas stuff, like crafts and cooking, and I had, like, a lady with, like, her hair done and crazy, like, 80s or 50s glasses and stuff, but I don't remember if I gave that to my mom if I kept it, and so, but that one, and then we also got, like, a un, or holy, holy jokes for my dad for, like, to have one of those books just to have, and he got a couple for my grandmother, so... I think that's the only book I'm missing out of this stack was that one, but I think I gave it to her. And then I also got a Christmas card, or a Christmas card, I don't know why I'm on Christmas right now, guys. A birthday card from my parents. It says, daughter, take a little time today to remind yourself what a wonderful person you are. In so many ways, you bring something very special to the world. You are a daughter to be proud of. Hope you feel all the love coming your way. Happy birthday. And then, of course, it's all glittery and pretty that and then my grandmother just for you granddaughter your sunshine and happiness laughter and love you're everything special and good you brought the whole family a world full of joy in ways that no one else could your wonderful granddaughter and your birthday is perfect time to tell you how special you are and how loved you'll always be happy birthday this was the thing that we won in the silent auction that was at the christmas market expo it's like a little cowhide air freshener and then it's got um this little tube of stuff. My mom said it smelled good, so we got that. And then the only other thing I got at the actual Christmas Expo was this shop here. Gemolil Fiber Arts, Aaron Copeland. J -J I don't know how you would say that, but J-E-M-O-L-E-L. -E -L. And she was really sweet. Um, she makes crochet things, so I got a little hedgehog that she crocheted. He doesn't have any legs, but he kind of looks like a pine cone. But he'll go with the little family of hedgehogs over in my corner over here with all my other stuffed animals. And then I got little hair ties from her. So I got this velvety red mint and like the Christmas tur turquoise green. And they're really soft and she said they're machine washable too, so and they, they have a pretty good stretch. They kind of don't want to give stretch, but then they do. So hopefully they last me a little bit. But yeah, that's that's about it. Um, we just, they got here early because they, both places, the um, library thing was from 10 to 4 and the Christmas Expo was from 9 to 4. So when they actually got here, we went and got oatmeal for my granny because she only eats oatmeal from Kroger. Um, apparently every other oatmeal is nasty to her, so we got some for her for that, and then we went to the library, and we got in, and we did our thing, looked at all the stuff, um, they had a little, uh, game for the kids to do, like, the little, um, sacks to throw into the, like, cornhole, I think is what it's called, and then, like, a little sucker, if you got the little dot, you got, like, a little glow stick, which my dad and me did, but we ended up just getting suckers. And then they have little baskets that are themed a certain way, and you do like a bid on them, and they'll call you if you win. But we didn't do that this year because there wasn't really ones that really caught our eyes. I saw two. There was like an apple-themed one that actually had an apple pie with it, and then there's like a board game one. But then, yeah, we got our books, and then we went to Taco Bell to eat lunch, and then we went over to the Christmas Expo. And there was a lot of different vendors that were the same kind of vendor like they were all selling bath products bath bombs and lotions and stuff like that and it, it wasn't that it was like jewelry and then really really expensive shirts and like it was real everything was really expensive um oh there was one other thing sorry let me show you this besides the book i didn't show you i did actually get my mom and me a piece of jewelry from this one shop they were a lot cheaper than all the other ones were but uh, there was a bracelet she saw, and she thought it was $4, and then the lady's like, no, it's 8 and then she wasn't going to get it, and I was like, well, no, Mom, get it. Like, it matches everything you own, jewelry-wise, because she has, like, an earring and necklace set that was, like, this bracelet, and I was like, just get it. And then I got this bracelet. It has an elephant, 
and then it has teal, dark blue, crystally colored, taupe brown, red, teal, blue, you know, like, and then it goes all the way down to like orange, and that's like my whole color palette of my wardrobe besides like the like uh, fuchsia dark pink, but that was everything that we did for that day. We went ahead after the Christmas Expo, we got home, they left to go take care of their animals and stuff like that before it got dark, and I just came home and relaxed for the rest of the day, and then my birthday actually won't be until this Thursday, you'll be seeing this this Tuesday, so I don't know what other I have planned besides going to work. But um, I took off for that Saturday so we could go do all this for my birthday in case I didn't have any other things planned. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get this video up for you guys. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. See you soon, cupcakes. Bye. Mm -hmm.